But hey, if you want luxury, you gotta pay for what you want. Hey, Miss Girl, it's your girl Jam, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we will be getting into my 2023 luxury wish list. Now, I do not have any designer items in my wardrobe, so I was thinking it would be a great idea to make a wish list for 2023, um, just so you know I could basically manifest the designer pieces in my wardrobe. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're gonna get into my luxury wish list by starting off with brands. So the first brand is Louis Vuitton, of course. I would like to get the Never Full MM bag in the color Cherry. And the reason why I chose Cherry instead of Pink, because I feel as if the Cherry just gives it that red pop that you need. It's almost like every girl first dream designer bag. Like, all the girls want this. Um, I think it's a great size. This bag is like the ultimate earring bag. You can bring it to the airport. You can put your laptop, your camera, your mirror, your brush, your lip gloss, your lipstick, everything in this bag. Also can get organizers on Amazon. Just because it is a bag that holds a lot of space. Now, the reason why I chose the color cherry is because it just gives it that pop. I feel like you could wear this in the spring, you could wear this in the fall and winter time, and it just gives you that look. The brown goes with anything, it's very sleek and chic for the girls that's always on the go, or like me that likes bigger bags and just like to carry everything in that bag because I know. I'm going to have a pen, I'm going to have <laughs> my cards, I'm going to have change. Girl, I need to fill up this bag. I need to make sure I have everything I need. I put headphones, anything. So this will be the perfect size bag for me. The Never Full MM bag retails at $2,030. Next up for the Louis Vuitton brand, we have the Louis Hoop GM earrings that girl this retails at 715 dollars as you can see i love gold accessories yeah so this will go right into my gold jewelry collection it will go with any and everything i like the size i think it is a actual like normal size you know it's not really like the big big hoops because like if you're working in corporate america this will be a nice touch even when you're going out for day night even everyday wear so you can get a lot of wear out of this even though it does retail at 715 dollars i feel as if it's worth it um a lot of cheap jewelry that i purchased like besides my real gold jewelry um it's tarnished and at this price i wish it would okay so next we're gonna get into the brand gucci of course i would want the women's original gg slide sandal with the you know maroon guts this is the cutest thing it has the gucci monogram and i'm a platform type of girl i definitely would like to wear this with my nudes in the springtime because girl this gives a look and being that i'm a platform type of girl it's not because i'm short but i just feel like it just gives your outfit that extra oomph that you need and then it's like just super cute i just i don't know i'm just so obsessed so next up for the gucci brand we have the dionysus gg supreme mini bag it retails at two thousand four hundred dollars and the reason why i went with the mini bag uh because i've seen the size of the small and it's giving medium like it's really really big and i actually would love like to hold it like a little clutch bag i think it's the cutest thing even though you can change the diagnosis to like a crossbody um but i definitely love the nude on nude little snake on it just the cutest thing i definitely think it's a statement piece and that it will never go out of style you can absolutely wear this with anything all year round all season long and i think that's um that's actually like good for me because of the fact that i want to be able to pop this bag out anytime even for the price you know so we're gonna get into the brand east saint laurent first things on my list for east saint laurent is the arty cocktail ring the cutest thing and the reason why i like absolutely never seen this ring before or never knew about this ring but the reason why i'm like so in love with it because jerenica macia her arty ring collection is on go miss girl like 
she has like so many the cutest rings now this is no longer manufactured so you will have to buy this ring pre-love i did see on the real real they were sold out um, of almost every ring they had on there but i just love the fact that it is gold and it comes in different colors like teal blue orange black just oh my goodness this ring and being that it's a nice size ring it'll like cover oh my goodness i feel like this will pop you know because i'll be like you know with my nails too like i love to just be like with my hand <laughs> So I feel as if I have the Artie ring on, it's definitely going to uh, be like, ooh, what's that? This cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Yves Saint Laurent. The Artie ring does retail at $290, but like I said, you will have to buy a pre-love. So um, it looks as if on the real real they had prices of $190, some for $125. Next up, we have the brand Dior. First things first, let's get into the shoe. I would love the Jador Sling Back Pump in the color black patent calfskin every girl needs a patent leather shoe okay jessica simpson does have the girls in a chokehold in the nude and black uh patent pumps we need those girls and with this jador one i feel as if the sling bag i feel like you could wear this with um some tailored slacks a mini skirt or even like you know a suit if you're in corporate america Girl, even for like little cute black dress date nights, like this shoe could go with almost anything. It retails at $990. Next up for the brand Dior, I have the saddle bag with the strap in the color black ultra matte calf skin. Girl, this here, it is my absolute favorite, favorite Dior bag. I feel as if um, I wouldn't know if I would want it in a mini or in the original size but it does retail at four thousand two hundred dollars and for the mini size it retails at three thousand seven hundred dollars i'm also interested in the latte grain calf skin these two bags girl i just feel like it can go with anything especially the a latte looking color with your pastels and you know your soft pinks and creams in the spring but this matte black definitely gives off boss like i can wear this with anything next up for dior i have the mini lady dior bag in the color cherry red patent calf skin girl i love a good mini bag and with the gold accents i would sit this on the table like yeah we at dinner oh what's that yeah that's me i that bag is mine i don't know why for some reason i'm so into like red but that cherry like even in like the fall or winter you know how opi have like that big apple red like i love the bright red colors super super cute definitely a statement piece now the mini lady bags they would not go out of style maybe eventually the girlies will stop wearing mini bags but i don't think i ever will all i would do is pop a little lip gloss and a card in there that's all you need miss girl and then you just like because everybody's gonna look because the bag is so small and it retails at five thousand three hundred dollars like i'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of that because Girl, that is too high for that bag to be this small. But hey, if you want luxury, you gotta pay for what you want. Next up, we have the brand Givenchy. Of course, I would want the Givenchy Shark Lock boots. Who doesn't want that boot? I would want the boot that, you know, goes all the way up the calf, up, because your girl is skinty. I heard, like, some issues with it going off the calf, but I don't think I would have that problem. I know some girls, like, with the bigger calf goes more towards the ankle boot, but I definitely want the boot that does go up the calf. It retails at $2,395. This could go with shorts, mini skirts, girl, body suits, anything. I'm sorry, not body suits girl jumpsuits anything this could go with anything and i would want it in the color black because i would definitely wear them down okay um and the reason why i want the shark boots i feel like it is very trendy but i know this will not go out of style because every season the girls are in the shark boots miss girl next we are still sticking with the boots but in the brand alexander Vautier. It retails at $1,250, the metallic boot in silver, of course. Now, I do like the pop of orange and blue in the metallic. 
super duper cute but as for my first shoe with that brand i would definitely want the silver because i feel as if when you put this on with anything i was also thinking i think the brand is called cuckoo i was also thinking about buying like a little two-piece set with that and styling it with this like so cute definitely a showstopper um i've seen girls this season like wear it and i'm just like i love when they do like the multiple colors and then they do boom they got the um blue on a boom they got the orange this is so cute but for me like i said it i would definitely want to have the silver color next up let's get into some watches so i definitely want my first rolex to be the day just 36 now i think i would like to do the silver with the diamond bezel right now i have the um the coach you know gold like i stated i love gold accessories with the diamond bezel or ron stoger whatever it is but as for like the two-tone rolex i see here that it retails at twenty thousand five hundred and fifty dollars no ma'am <laughs> no unless it's gifted to me i would definitely buy a rolex used off the dump okay i i know i stated like mm, the already ring pre-love everything else won't bring new this used girl uh because i feel like if you can spend like 10 15 000 and get a nice looking rolex versus the silver diamond bezel with like the navy blue face retails at seventeen thousand five hundred dollars yeah i'll wait i'll wait or i'll get it pre-loved because um no no can do but i definitely feel as if it is a statement piece um rolexes are timeless and i just feel as if it definitely will last long so as my first luxury watch definitely want to get a rolex i see the girls be on jbw real heavy and i feel as if it kind of like look like it so maybe i just might get a jbw watch next up we have the brand Loewe. of course this is this is not up for discussion i would want the inflated cat eye sunglasses like i seen actually a girl post that amazon has a dupe but i can't do that some things i just feel like i don't want to get a dupe i want to get the real thing so i'll wait but these cat eye oh my goodness they're so cute my first color i would get in black but i actually think i would want red white yellow i think i would want every color girl because once you put these on and i feel like with a good trench in the uh winter and the fall like who is she yeah that's me yeah and then i'll be like yeah have to get these glasses it retails at 360 dollars and lastly of course on my luxury wish list every girl's dream bag is a chanel bag and i will want the large classic handbag it retails at nine thousand five hundred dollars i don't know if i would want the grained cow skin or the lamb skin i would have to see it in person because i think the last lamb skin give it like that shiny look but girl of course with the gold hardware this is going to be number one number one on my wish list i have to get this chanel bag and i know some people rush like when they get their first designer chanel bag it has to be like pre-love mm -mm. i'm away i'm away because i want to walk out that chanel store knowing that this is my bag i'm the only girl that had this bag and i'm just gonna feel like i'm just <laughs> i just feel like i'm gonna be like so happy like i might scream did you like let me know in the comments if you screamed when you got your first chanel bag well yes that's it for my 2023 luxury wish list if you wish to get anything on this list as well let me know in the comments or let me know also what you think my first purchase should be and thank you for watching and see you soon